All right, hi everybody, Ryan here. Welcome back to Idle and Emission Solutions. So today we have a Cascadia Freightliner with a factory AC system, electric AC system here. So what we've done is taken out the uh, old heavy AGMs, replaced them with our lithium dual purpose batteries. So we just kind of show you what, what was going on here, what we did. So originally this was a eight battery system with our batteries, the capabilities of these batteries, we were actually able to reduce that to six batteries. So we went two batteries up for starting and then four batteries back here in the, uh, the battery bank for the AC unit and then the accessories. So we'll show you what we did in here. So with our current battery top, which is changing, they will be flat here in the future. We had, I had to make new cables for this because the existing factory battery cables, the lugs are really, really big, so they wouldn't fit down in here. So it complicates things a little bit, uh, but again, that here in the future, that won't be an issue. So the main thing, if you are going to put in any type of system in, the main thing of this video, I guess, is one, well, I want to tell you about the batteries and what we're doing, that you can put these in to an existing factory system. But the other thing, if you do have to make cables or if you are putting in, uh, you're taking out your starting batteries and putting in a system for that, the main thing should these batteries, any type of battery, whether you're using lead acid, AGMs, lithium, whatever, uh, one of the main things you want to make sure you're doing with your loads is that you want to have, see, here's our first but here's our first positive so i got both my charging circuits coming in here so i'm charging on this end and then i'm discharging on the other end of the circuit so that way you're going through all four batteries so you're not favoring because if you just hook up you know your positive your, to your load if you're hooking your positive or negative on one battery it's going to favor that battery same thing with the charging if you're hooking everything on the one so you want to have your your negatives and your positives opposed so that way everything's flowing through all four batteries so keep that in mind if you're installing any type of batteries for that matter that's important so that way your batteries stay healthy they're all they're all discharging and charging at the same rate and like i said you you're not putting on un, any unduly wear on one pacific battery so it's going through the whole system so so that's what we got back here it wasn't too bad like i said i did have to make new cables uh, for the jumpers on this particular unit uh, again, in the future, that won't be an issue here uh, in January. I guess we should have the next batch here that are corrected. Uh, so that's that up in the front. I don't like this battery box. Uh, these are the, the Cascade, the older Cascades where you have them sideways, two and two. So again, we was able to take two of those batteries out and just go with two of ours up here. So basically getting a little bit more cranking amp capacity uh, than, than the four original batteries, uh, two of them versus four original batteries, less weight. So this had AGMs and lead acid. So roughly about 70 pounds. With AGMs, about 70 pounds per battery. Ours are 32 pounds. So by going from eight batteries, if you had all eight AGMs to six of our batteries, you're uh, reducing the weight of the truck about 375 pounds overall. So that's, you know, if you're out there trucking, you know, you're, you're worried about weight. If you're really close on loads, 375 pounds can, can mean a lot. So that's another important aspect of these batteries as well. So uh, pretty much in summary for today, uh, if you do have an existing uh, electric APU or AC system you know, from the factory or whatever, we can go ahead and change those out or you can change them out yourself. We do have the batteries offered on our e-commerce site, dpfdiscounter.com. If you're looking for uh, to go to somebody to get them put in, uh, we're in Canton, Ohio. We also have some dealers set up, so you can go to polarfoxapu.com to find a dealer for that as well. We're also looking for more dealers for our batteries and for our APU systems as well. So if you've got a small shop, you're looking to get the business, whatever, check us out as well. Uh, this is pretty much all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the bell for the updates, and like the video.